Hello everybody, Don't Blink here again with another Red Orchestra 2 gameplay commentary for you guys. And today, I've got some territory gameplay on Commissar's house. I'm using the Elite Rifleman class with the Gewehr 41 as my primary of choice. It's a semi-automatic rifle. And this is my first ever flawless match of Red Orchestra 2. It's also my first ever full-length gameplay that I've posted to YouTube. So hopefully you guys will enjoy the video, especially the gameplay. And I am playing Territory Mode, as I said earlier. If you're unfamiliar with what Territory Mode is in Red Orchestra, I would classify it as kind of a mixture of Rush and Conquest modes from Battlefield Bad Company 2, which is the first-person shooter that I am most familiar with, and I'm sure many of you guys are as well. So when I say that it's a mixture of Rush and Conquest, what I mean is there are sets of objectives available at any given time, so you're not given the full map of objectives um, at the start of each match. So in that way, the fact that it's limited to just a very specific set, and as sets of objectives are taken, the front line kind of shifts forward and backward, and the attackers and defenders retreat and move up and so on and so forth. So it makes the, the action very focused, and in that way it's very much like rush mode. But it's like conquest in that there's no you know, MCOM or radio beacon or anything like that, no specific objective for the teams to capture and hold. Instead, it's more like conquest in that it's an area, and you capture that area via proximity and via the number of troops you have in that area. So as you can see right now, we have three teammates in this alpha territory. So obviously we're going to hold it since there are no enemies currently uh, within the territory's bounds. And there's also something very similar to Battlefield Bad Company 2 in that there's also a reinforcement system. So you have a limited number of reinforcements at your disposal if you deplete those reinforcements for the enemy team then you win if your own team's reinforcements are depleted then you lose another way for the attacking team to win is to successfully capture all of these sets of territories and then that also wins them the match but since I'm a defender in this round I'm playing on the Axis side of the conflict I'm just holding this area and some of you may call it camping but very much like in Battlefield Bad Company 2, uh, if you have an objective and you're supposed to defend it, you know, sitting within that objective's area and defending it from attackers is, in my opinion, exactly what should be done. So, sorry if you guys think this is campy, but this is kind of just how the game is played, especially this game type. And at this point, I realized that I was starting to run out of ammo. <laughs> so you'll see in a bit here, I actually do completely run out of rounds and I am just scrambling for ammunition but I don't know what was going on this match I was just having a really easy time with my aim and um, you do have to account for bullet drop travel time bullet spread bullet inaccuracy all that good stuff so uh, you really have to know the feel of your weapons know the the limits of your own skills and your weapon skills and if you're firing at really long ranges you can actually adjust your sights which is something I've never seen before in a video game you adjust your sights and uh, that way you can um, kind of prepare yourself for the bullet drop at any given range which is kind of cool so I was out of ammo here this enemy comes in should have pulled out my pistol but thankfully I had another teammate uh, at my side to protect me, and I end up picking up the Mosin Nagant. Hope that's how you pronounce it. Um, I am not good with Russian or German, so if I ever mispronounce the names of weaponry or locations or anything like that when making these Red Orchestra 2 videos, you'll have to forgive me. Just kindly and constructively let me know in the comments, and I'll try and fix my pronunciation in future videos. But that's about it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please let me know in the comments or leave a rating or favorite the video or whatever you want to do. Just uh, let me know 
And if you have any more requests for Red Orchestra 2 content, just let me know as well in the comments, and I will try and fulfill any of those requests. See you guys. Bye.